What's up, weight makers? It's me, Mommy Suna. My name is Pat Back. And I've got some exciting stuff to share with you guys today. Yes, yes, yes. You read the title, you know what's up. It's not clickbait, things are happening. Man, oh man, okay, where to start? So I have to say the biggest thank you ever to Kira, AKA MLM Mombi on Instagram and Facebook. Follow her, she's a goddess. She's done so much work for this community. She's amazing, I love her. She gave me access to what can only be described as a young living gold mine. <laughs> there were a few things in here that I had to share with you, but yes, guys, we have a whistleblower, which means a lot of stuff is about to come out. They have many, many receipts <laughs> and I'm so ready to share them with you guys. Oh my god, I haven't even gone through all of it. Literally this gold mine that Kira sent me that she got from the whistleblower has hours and I am talking probably a good like at least a day's worth like 24 hours of content of training of income claims of health claims all of the things I obviously have not gone through all of them but I promise you if I find more as I you know find the time to sit through all of this content you bet your buns I'm gonna keep you guys updated and share what I find but first most importantly here's why I say just like the title of the video says that young live is crumbling and it's gonna go down because of this video I'm about to show you right now. Basically what we have here is a screen recording from Young Living's New Year kickoff, which is I guess some kind of convention that they held online this year. The speaker here is none other than Miss Mary Young, the co-founder and CEO of Young Living. Uh, she is Gary's, how would you say it? Gary's widow, I guess. Gary Young being uh, the founder of Young Living, infamous baby kid killer, infamous importer of illegal endangered species, among other things. Uh, I've made a lot of content about Young Living in the past. I'll link my two Young Living deep dives down below. They're very old. I was straight up bald in one of them. That's how long ago is when I shaved my head. And then the other one was before I even shaved my head. But I'll link them. I haven't watched them in a long time, so sorry if they're like hard to consume. My editing style and production style was weird back then. I'll link them anyway because I think I did a good amount of research for them. So yeah, Gary died. <laughs> and uh, he left behind Mary, who we're going to watch speak now. She's gonna tell us with her own words what what the fuck is going on with Young Living. So basically here is my plan of action. My plan of action is to see this video, <laughs> interpret it for what it is, which is Young Living is not doing very well and kick them while they're down. Because you know what? If we are reporting, if we are talking about all this, showing all the receipts to the world, just doing everything we can to kick Young Living while they're down, I personally think, and this is not just me being overly hopeful, I suppose, I personally think that we can really do something here because this is a pretty big deal. So, okay, I'll stop talking about it and let's just watch it. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Also, there's some copyrighted music at the beginning of this, so I'll be cutting that out, but it's kind of awkward in the beginning here. So I want you to just, I, I want you to watch Mary Young be an awkward possum. <laughs> I think this was an Owl City song. <laughs> If anyone knows Owl City, it just kind of makes the whole thing even more weird. Uh, I obviously cut it out, but not that older people can't like more modern music. Is Owl City even considered modern anymore? What is he doing? I don't know, but definitely it's not her generation. So it's just kind of weird. Like this old lady just like prancing across the stage to Owl City. Anyway, maybe that's just me being too judgmental, but anyway, okay. I can't, I can't drink my water. I can't swallow my prolozin. I can't do anything. It's just really frustrating. We also can't hear you. We also can't hear you. You know, you don't have to have a mask on while you're on stage, right? You mean I can take it off? Yeah, of course you can. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow! You look really pretty, though. Jordan! This woman must not wear masks very often if she doesn't know how to take it off. I know there's a microphone in the way, but it's just coming from this area of MLM, of pseudoscience, of woo-woo shit. My guess would be that this woman is not used to wearing masks. And why should she? She's got essential oils, guys. She's just like stomping around the stage all angry. She's like, I can't even drink my water. I can't even talk right. I can't even breathe. What am I supposed to do? And they're like, oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary, you can take your mask off. You're alone on stage. 
<laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? It's the wrong color anyway. It doesn't even go with my outfit. This is well, weird. I was trying to be comfortable. And I think we've won the battle, don't you? <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. We've won the battle. What I just heard is pro Okay, that was the first video. <laughs> it's just basically a Mary Young just like bitching about masks. Okay, um, let me see if I can find what comes next in this series. Okay, so there's timestamps on these in the chat. These are not consecutive, apparently. I'm just figuring this out now. So um, here's the next one that was recorded from here. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have this entire little speech of hers, but I think what I do have is enough. It's enough. What do you think we're paying to bring those oils in? How long do you think Young Living could survive if we don't have any profit and we're operating in the hole? We're operating at a loss. Can any business survive that? Did you hear that? Oh! Oh! You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, from the CEO's mouth, from Gary Young's widow, from Miss Mary Young herself. Young Living is operating at a loss. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And what's so crazy about this is that Young Living is so overpriced, <laughs> out of this world, expensive. You can buy the same exact oils of similar, if not exact quality, from places like Revive, Eden's Garden, Plant Therapy. They all have similar methods to, I guess, extracting the oils. I'm no aromatherapist or whatever. <clears throat> but from what I understand, it's all generally the same. Young Living is just extremely expensive because it's an MLM. And let me explain this to you for those of you who might be kind of new to the anti-MLM sphere here. Multi-level marketing companies almost always have insane markups on their products. You rarely ever pay what an MLM product is actually worth. And the reason for that is the compensation plan. The compensation plans in these companies require the product to be so expensive in order for them to pay out the many, many millions of dollars of bonuses that go to the top 1% to pay for trips, to pay for, I don't know exactly what Young Living's compensation plan has, but a lot of them have, you know, car programs and team building bonuses, all these things that they simply would not be able to pay these kind of payouts to their top 1% if they were being competitive in their pricing with the rest of the industry. Now, Young Living tries to say, and basically, Basically, any MLM tries to say, oh, well, our quality is just the best. Our quality is better than the competitors. That's why our prices are so high because you're paying for quality. It ain't shit, man. With Young Living, if you've watched my two Young Living videos that I've linked down below, you know, at this point, you really should probably just watch them. But so I'll just touch on this a little bit, but there was a point, I wanna say in 2017, maybe 2018? I don't know. I don't remember what year it is. It could have even been sooner than that. But basically, and I'll link this down below too, cause they're, the blog posts are still up. Someone found out that their cinnamon bark oil was cut with synthetics and there's like lab tests to prove it and everything. They got a group of people together to also send out cinnamon bark oil samples. They had it sent directly from the manufacturer to the labs and bada beam bada boom came out to be cut with synthetics. And then does, is it thieves? One of the blends and it might've even been thieves that contains cinnamon bark oil was also obviously cut with synthetics because the cinnamon bark oil that was in that oil blend was cut with synthetics. So that is one little blip in history that that it's proven that Young Living was operating this way. Who is to say that that's the only time it's ever happened? I call bullshit. So anyway, that's why this is weird that they're operating at a loss when their prices are so obnoxiously high, so insanely overpriced for them to be like, we're not making profits. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Do they need to change their compensation plan? Like, what is it? Sounds like their compensation plan is just too generous. And they've got all these customers that are just in it for the discount who are on auto shipments and they're spending hundreds of dollars a month because they're obligated to if they want to remain active with Young Living. There are so many people who have these oils on auto ship month after month. How are they operating at a loss? It makes zero sense to me. Anyway, we can continue because there's more here. Can it? No. Come on. It shouldn't. No, no business can survive that. Why have so many businesses gone out of business? because it can't operate at a loss. I'm telling you, we have to make changes. We have to li make little changes. 
Maybe we have to raise the price a little bit. Maybe we have to raise shipping. We are we are going to have to raise the price of shipping. Let's see what the price of shipping is right now. Also, these videos freeze. The video frames just like stopped recording. So that's not you or me. It's just the video that we have. Oh, you get free shipping with any 100 PV plus order. I believe their PV is probably dollar for dollar, which is... Something you don't hear in MLMs very often. Most of them just charge up the ass for shipping. I mean, you have to spend $100 to get free shipping, but regardless, if you spend under $100, it's seven bucks, $6.99. And that's economy, so that's seven business days. If you want standard shipping, which is five business days, across the board, no matter how much you spend, it's $10. And guys, we're talking about oils. They're this big. So, okay, maybe they'll get rid of the free shipping thing. That would kind of be on par with just about any other MLM. Free shipping is hardly a thing. But what gets me is that Mary is saying here, we're gonna have to raise the prices. They're already insane. Let's look. I clicked their seasonal link and it's like, sorry, we don't have that. Okay, all right, never mind. Um, What do we got? I just wanna compare a couple prices here. So just for example, and I will push this brand a lot because I feel like it is the most reputable and also they're very anti MLM. I'm pretty sure the people behind this oil company, which is called Revive, I think they came from Young Living. Like they were people who did work for Young Living. If not doTERRA, I don't know. doTERRA came from Young Living before too. So there's like a whole <laughs> string of relations there. But they specifically advertised having exactly the same quality oils as MLM oils. So Young Living and doTERRA without the MLM hassle and without the MLM price tag. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm just saying, and I'm just like throwing this out here because if you're going to use essential oils and you're really convinced that they need to be the same quality as Young Living. Revive is a good place to find them and they have on their website testing for every single batch of oils that they have, which Young Living does not have. Young Living keeps saying that they're working on it. It is not, listen, it is not that hard to send a sample of a batch of oil to a lab to have it tested. And I'm actually, I'm in DMs with somebody, you know who you are, who's been really helpful. She's still in Young Living and I've kind of talked to her, kind of trying to deprogram her a little bit because it started out with a lot of like I would say something she'd be like yeah well my upline or my people in Young Living say that that's not true and then I'm like well no it is true here you go and same with Revive here I brought them up to her and she's like yeah well I've just been told that the quality is not the same as Young Living and it's like well well Young Living doesn't even offer their testing they say that they do their own testing but they won't show you any of those test results they say it's proprietary information bitch no it's not and then they sit there and string people along for years and years and years. It has been years. They've been like, I think she told me it's like by 2025, they're saying that they're gonna have testing for all of their batches. Why does it take so long? It doesn't, it doesn't. That means that there's something else going on there. Anyway, when I told her, I said, you know, Revive tests all of their oils. You can go onto their website. You can find the test results for any product you buy. And she was like, what? I didn't know that. She's like, that's something that they leave out when they're talking about it. But then, you know, meanwhile, she's defending Young Living being like, oh, they're working on it. It's like, there's there's literally no excuse for that. Anyway, sorry to go on that rant. Um, my point is Young Living is bullshit. <laughs> They're not as great as they say they are. You can get the same quality of oils from other companies now. So just for example, uh, bergamot, which is my favorite essential oil, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's weird for me to say I have a favorite essential oil, but I don't use them like that. I basically just use them for aromatherapy in my bath. <laughs> I really like the smell of bergamot. One little bottle of it is $11 from Revive. If you want to get it from Young Living, same exact thing, $18.09. Now that you might be like, ah, oh, it's only seven bucks. <laughs> okay, but it gets to be a lot here. I don't know exactly what Revive has, if they have the same. Because some of these essential oils on Young Living, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I've like never heard of it. Oh shit, okay, they do have it. I didn't know what blue tansy was. I just saw it on Young Living and Revive also has it. Don't know what it means or what it's for. Anyway, blue tansy. You can get a regular standard size bottle of it from Revive for $49. You might be saying, that's a lot for an oil. Well, honey boo boo. If you were to buy that same exact oil off of Young Living, $129.61. You want citronella? You can get that for $8 from Revive. You wanna get it from Young Living? That'll cost you 
$27.30. Do you guys see what I'm saying here? Like th that one in particular is a markup. What was that? Over three times the price of the one that you get from Revive. And let me reiterate, they're the same quality. And not only that, you can look at the testing results that Revive is providing for you. You can't do that with Young Living. They don't provide that. You literally have to just trust what Young Living says, or you can pay the money to have it tested yourself, which is a lot of money. So no one's going to do that. That's why this is a cult thing. This is why we always say that Young Living, these essential oils, these oily mamas, it's a cult. And with Young Living specifically, it's because they just have been conditioned to trust what Young Living says with zero proof. It's just like, oh, a seed to seal. That's their thing. It's seed to seal. We promise. You know, my, my Young Living contact that I'm in DMs with even told me that they don't even use like just any old seed. They use special seeds. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how do you prove that? They're literally just saying that they use special seeds and that's it. <laughs> and then they just are supposed to trust it. It's like, <laughs> she also was, you know, telling me, well, they own all their farms. They control the quality of, all. and I'm like, that's not true either because in, was it 2014, 2016, something like that, they violated the Lacey Act for, was it like spikenard oil or something like that? It was some oil that they were trying to make and they were illegally importing the plant that they needed to make it. And they had to pay a huge fine. Let's see, what was it? What was it? They had to pay $760,000 in fines for that. They were importing an endangered plant. That doesn't sound to me like they control the quality of wherever that came from. You know what I mean? They don't own all of their farms. They don't own all of their sources. They have a Lacey Act compliance program now because of that. And so they're going to try to say that they don't do that shit. But it's like they've done it before and they tried to fucking hide it. And then they got caught. Sorry to dwell on this, but like it's been a long time since I really talked about Young Living. So a lot of you guys are probably out of the loop on a lot of this because I've had a lot of new people come to the channel lately since I really went in on Young Living. But long story short, Mary Young wants to raise prices. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like they're essentially punishing the distributors, the customers for their faults. It's not, it is not the fault of the customers and the distributors that Young Living is operating at a loss because if other companies can sell their oils for 33% of the cost that Young Living is, give or take, and they're not operating at a loss, it sounds like it's an issue with the company and it's certainly not their prices. Things are gonna happen. You have to, you don't have to. I am asking you to share with us in the costs that are going up in order for us to have that which we love so much. We are asking you to share the cost with us. Basically saying, we're asking you to give us more money so we can continue operating because we're not making a profit right now. What? I'm sorry, what? How? Just how? That which is so important to us in our lives. It's critical that you know that we are doing everything in our power to cut costs. If your idea, ma'am, of we're doing everything it takes to cut costs is we're gonna raise the cost of the product that is already so overinflated, something is wrong. Something is weird. Something is off. Either that, okay, let me put it this way. They could just be yanking our chain here. I mean, this wasn't available to the public, okay? So the only people she would be trying to convince would be the people who are on this call, or who are at this convention, that they need to spend more money. She doesn't need to convince any of us. And they'll go along with it too. They'll go along with it because this is a cult. She is the cult leader or she's the wife of the cult leader, you know? So that you don't have to bear very much of that cost. Very much. When we have retreats, do you want to have swag that maybe costs a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, or can you bring your own? So they're gonna raise prices and give you less. <laughs> give you less of your hard-earned rewards. Wow. And they'll probably up the price of the tickets to go to these retreats too. So you're paying more to go to the same thing, to receive the same training, but you don't get the swag, Aww. but you're paying more. You wanna have bottles of Ninja Red on the table that you drink freely? Ew. That might, might cost you $300,000 to ship, to put on that table? 
You want to bring your own? $300,000 for their fucking wolfberry drink. I have a whole video about that too. It's again, another 50 bucks a bottle and it's overpriced fruit juice. Watch that video too. She's sitting here being like, we've given you guys so many luxuries and we just, we have to take them away. Sorry, because we're operating at a loss. They're operating at a loss. <laughs> Don't forget that. Get it ingrained into your mind here. I'm being very real. Yeah, you are. I'm calling a spade a spade. Okay. Lots of people don't like to talk about money, but this world operates on money. There's no way around it. Dude, you know, if she would just cut her own income, I guarantee she'd be able to cover whatever the losses are. If you don't pay your bills, they'll take back your car. They'll take back your new washer and dryer. They'll even foreclose on you and kick you out of your house. We know, Mary. Yeah, we know. Thank you for uh, reminding me and the rest of us that if you don't pay your bills, things get repossessed. Thank you. That makes me really sad. <laughs> I do not like to see anybody suffer. I do not like to see anybody be the victim. If you're acknowledging that this is a thing, Mary, why are you expecting these people who rely on you for an income to pay more money, <laughs> to give you more money? I'd like to know how much she's pocketing, how much her family is pocketing, because I guarantee it's a lot of motherfucking money. And they don't want to get rid of their mansions and their acreages of farms. And I mean, I know like Gary Young, man, he had some like Wild West fantasies and stuff. He's got some big properties where he would do like jousting and like fake shootouts, Western style and stuff. Like he was a weird dude. And I will help wherever I can. How about start with cutting your cost of living, get a more affordable house, so then that way you don't have to continue to guzzle money out of your business that's coming out of other people's pockets. Give yourself a pay cut, you fucking millionaire. Start there. How about start there? But if you can see a way to help, then help. We don't need five boxes of pencils, maybe we only need one. We don't need 20 tape dispensers. Maybe we just need two. What's she talking about? <laughs> we didn't need a whole storage room full of paper. Why did you have that? <laughs> what, are the, what are all the institutions out there doing to us? They're giving you rewards. They're paying you to go paperless. Why? Because it costs money. They don't want to go in the hole. They're going to pass it on to us. We have to do the same thing. We are looking for ways. We are doing everything we can. There's a tremendous analysis, budgeting going on in Young Living right now to look at all the different ways to move product, to move things that have been sitting for a long time to not buy what we need. Move things that have been sitting for a while. That sounds like they're producing more than they can sell. They've just got these expensive ass oils just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And then what are you gonna do with them? Those things have gotta expire, right? You would think. Is it going to be safe to then ingest those oils? It's never really safe to ingest essential oils, but these people are doing it. So whatever product you have sitting around, are you going to still try to move that into the hands of the customer? who are then probably going to eat it because, you know, that's just what you do in this company. Is that safe? How long has it been sitting there? These are questions we need to really be asking ourselves here. I'm not just saying this to try to like be a grifter. I'm literally saying like, based on what she's saying, there needs to be more consideration from the people who are buying these products and then ingesting and using on their family. If they're really trying to cut costs, yeah, maybe an oil has been sitting there for five years. I don't know if that's long enough for an oil to exceed the shelf life or whatever. I don't know any of that, but you would think they'd have one. Just questions we need to consider. But yeah, if they're trying to cut costs, they will take whatever money they can get for those products, for sure. If you see that you can help, then I'm asking you to help. It's not your place, it's not your responsibility to cut costs. Buy more oil! For young living. It's my responsibility. Our responsibility in the office. And I can tell you, they are doing a magnificent job. Maybe you don't have four choices of shampoo. Maybe there's only going to be two. Can you live with that? 
as long as you have two. Ooh, look at this question here. Giving up our $25 kit sale bonus is helping along with skipping fast start on new brand partners. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. So every time someone signs up a new customer and they buy a starter kit, is that is this saying that they get $25 so they're literally getting paid to recruit? I smell a pyramid scheme. Smells like a pyramid scheme. Smells like you get compensated simply for just recruiting. Hmm. No wonder there's a lawsuit right now that's open against Young Living for a Young Living being a pyramid scam. And Quaint came to me, well, Mary, what do you think about mint shampoo? And I said, cut it. What is she talking about? Is she talking about like if they go to the retreats? Is that what she's talking about? They were offering people four different kinds of shampoo. Like, what the fuck? That seems excessive. So maybe maybe you do have a bit of a spending problem. If they want mint shampoo, they can put a couple of drops of peppermint in their shampoo and shake it up. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you? Yes, Mary, yeah. So don't get upset when you see these kinds of things start to happen. Because we're gonna look at all the different ways. Someone is even like, some of the packaging is too big. Which, yeah, sure, let's be more sustainable. Young Living, how about that, yeah. Cut down on some package usage, there you go. I still don't see, with the cost of their products being so stupid high, why they're operating at a loss. I'm wondering if it has to do with people dropping out, people leaving. Has there been a mass exodus from Young Living recently that we don't really know about? You know what this makes me wonder, actually? Because I was saying this at the beginning of the pandemic, <gasps> because so many MLMs, Young Living included, basically any MLM ever, was using the pandemic <gasps> as an excuse to really push and recruit. So much so that the FTC sent a lot of these companies warning letters. Well, companies like Young Living, for example, I don't think Young Living got a FTC warning letter. They might have. They've gotten other ones in the past for other things, but for the <gasps> thing, I don't know. I know doTERRA definitely did, but this still went on in Young Living too. Distributors were using the pandemic <gasps> to A, sell products, basically saying that their oils were going to cure <gasps> which obviously they don't, but also to to sell the opportunity, if you will. And it worked, it worked for a lot of MLMs. They saw huge growth because so many people were out of work. So many people had a loss of income because of businesses shutting down, because of places closing, you know? So there was a mass recruitment happening. Well now, nearly two years later, after things started shutting down, is it possible that places like Young Living saw a huge boom in recruitment? And now two years later, people are realizing this is not what I was promised. I've spent thousands of dollars on these stupid fucking oils that don't work. They don't do what I was told that they do. There's no scientific backing. And also, I'm broke. I never made any money from this. Is it possible that those people are dropping out now? Is it possible that the MLM mass exodus is finally here? The mass exodus that I've been talking about for the past two years, ever since the boom, I can't, ever since they started convincing people to join their MLMs to recoup the losses that they had from losing jobs or losing work or whatever it was. Is this what this is? Could be. I don't know that for sure. Are people finally learning that Young Living is just all together, just one big fucking scam? One big cult? One big pyramid scheme? Are the lawsuits finally catching up with them? What is it? It's certainly not that the prices of products are too low. Something is going on behind the scenes. There's really no way to know what exactly it is, but it's something, and that's why I'm saying we gotta kick them while they're down, guys. We have to. This is our moment. We know that this is their weakness right now, so let's step it up. Within our product line, that we can cut down, that we can streamline it. You don't need five variations. I would be happy just to have bath gel and put my own oils in it. I don't need to have one, two, three, four, and five. I happen to love sensation. I happen to love peace and calming. Morning Star was the first one that Gary created. How many do we need? Do we need to send those to foreign countries because we have them here in the U.S.? And you know, in foreign countries, you have to go through regulatory processes. You have to have the, the well, labels. Is she saying that they're going to stop shipping to foreign countries because it's too expensive to comply with foreign countries shit? I don't know. It seems odd that you would just stop doing business, doing the thing that supposedly brings you money, doing business in all these other countries in order to cut costs. That doesn't make sense. Oh my goodness gracious, you have no idea of, of all the menagerie you have to go through just to get a product that we have here in the U.S. into Malaysia or into Mexico or into Europe. If we don't have to, we're not going to. 
We're going to slim down and be as trim as we possibly can to get us through this time. And we're also going to raise the prices. <laughs> because the most important thing is that we have our oils and we have our products. Doesn't matter what you pay for them, right? The most important thing is that you have them, but it doesn't matter that you're paying up the ass for them already. Now, if you don't have eucalyptus radiata, maybe you can use mountain savory. If you don't have Ravansara, maybe you can mix Raven and Melaleuca together. This seems dangerous. <laughs> Just like mixing substances together and they're like supposed to do what the original says it was supposed to do, which obviously already has no scientific backing as it is. But now let's make our own concoction. It does the same thing. What the fuck? Well, how it is in the natural world. You try one thing. If it doesn't work, you try another thing. You figure out what your body wants. You mix and match. You do your own thing to find out what it is that your body wants. All right, guys, that was the end of the videos I was sent from Mary Young. I think it's very telling. I was also sent something else today. Now, like I said earlier, there's a ton of stuff I could go through with you guys. I even have a few videos saved that I want to go through eventually. Stuff about false health claims, false income claims and stuff. I've got a shitload of it. But there was one thing that was sent to me today, also from Kira, that I just kind of want to read through a COVID <gasps> protocol that a individual team made. Uh, this is a very high ranking person on the compensation plan. She made this doc called our wellness journey, our recovery from COVID, our COVID wellness journey with Young Living Platinum. I usually would have to like put disclaimers and stuff to kind of say that, well, I mean, I guess this still applies. Everything I'm about to say does not constitute as medical advice, but I'm going to try to keep my personal opinions out of this and just kind of make this about what is being said. I will leave the link to this down below so that you can go report this as well. Guys, what we've been doing, my video I posted a couple weeks ago about the doTERRA call with all the <gasps> misinformation, the reporting work. I made a post on my community page about this, but long story short, Tina, which is Truth in Advertising, published an article about this. They alerted the FTC about it. They alerted the doctors, like local medical boards or whatever you would call it. People have been alerted. Authorities on the subject matter have been alerted because of the reporting that people like you have done. So thank you so much. I will leave a link to what I'm about to read to you in the description below. If you reported the stuff last time from doTERRA, you're gonna wanna report this again. Use the same methods you were doing before. I'll leave all that down below too on probably the most effective places to report these things. There's probably a Young Living compliance email you can send this to as well. Don't know how effective that will be, but at the very least reporting to the FTC and Tina, uh, Truth and Advertising. I'll leave all that down below. But I just want to read it to you guys so that you can see that there are some serious health claims being made about Young Living versus Coop that uh, I'll just say right now are not true. They are not real. None of this is scientifically proven. What we're going to hear about these oils from this document is not real. <laughs> but they're using this kind of misinformation to literally peddle their products, to push their products, and to make a quick buck. This is what this is. So again, if you're somebody who kind of gets upset hearing people get manipulated in this way, maybe this this might be a little too infuriating for you. But again, you don't have to worry about me pushing my agenda here and speaking about my opinions on the subject. I'm not gonna get into that today. If you want more of that, you can watch the doTERRA video from a few weeks ago. I just wanna share this with you and I want you to report it. Thank you. Also have a baby here now while I read this to you guys. He was throwing a fit downstairs. He just needs his mama. He was with daddy and sissy, but mama wasn't there. So uh, mama's here now. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right, let's read this. Our wellness journey. Disclaimer, do not share this link publicly. <laughs> Hi. It gets flagged online and can prevent the information from helping more people. Yeah, you know why it gets flagged online? Because this is helping nobody. It's hurting people. This kind of misinformation hurts people. Please have your friends message you privately for this info. I will have to take down this link if it gets shared on social media. So thank you in advance for helping to keep this info available for others. Thank you. Yeah, maybe when they get wind of this being shared here on this video, this link might not be available anymore. So before you go and uh, report this to the FTC, make sure this link works. If it doesn't, just send them this video <laughs> with the timestamp. Anyway, hi friend. I know there's a lot going on in our world right now and many are looking for ways to support
support their body and protect their family. Our family recently had our first COVID experience, although I believe I had another variant back in October. This time, our entire family became sick, and many were asking what we did to help ourselves recover so quickly. It has many developing symptoms that seem to change daily, so we were grateful to have the support of many items in our home to help us with the daily changes that our body experienced. Also, I guess this is probably a good time to mention that if you leave any anti-vax comments, I will delete them because I don't want the responsibility of your dumb ass bullshit. Sorry, I know I said I wasn't gonna include my thoughts here, but this is important. Yeah, I don't want your bullshit, your anti-vax dumb ass bullshit convincing anybody not to get vaccinated or boosted or, you know, get their second dose or whatever because of a comment they read in my comment sections. I'm not here for that. I'm extremely pro-vaccine, pro-science, pro-facts. Most of this community is as well. Please get your vaccines. Please get your boosters. Please do all the things. Protect yourself, protect others. The best way to do that is by getting a vaccine, okay? Please refrain from arguing that point at all in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna delete it. I promise. I will. I read the comments. I'll delete it. I don't want that shit festering in my comment section. It's not a matter of me not agreeing with it and not liking your opinion. It's a matter of this kind of misinformation is literally killing thousands of people. Millions around the world, really. Not in my comment section, boo boo. And probably just refrain from doing it anywhere else also because you got blood on your hands. If you're sharing vaccine misinformation, you have blood on your hands. People have died because of the shit you share. I compiled a list of the items that we had on hand ahead of time and we were grateful we did. There's a saying that I've heard, if you have to order it, it's too late. Meaning when you're sick, you don't have the time to wait on shipping. We planned ahead and had these items in our home so we were ready. What are we taking from this? Buy all this shit now so that you have it when you get sick. Spend all this money now so that when you need it, you have it. Let me remind you that the vaccine is free. Anyone can go get the vaccine with no out of pocket cost. And I know every time I say it's free, people get all mad at me in the comments. You don't understand what free means, bitch. I fucking understand that shit, but my point is it's free in the way that when you walk into a clinic, you do not have to pay any money to receive it, okay? Obviously, you can either do that, you can go get a free vaccine, or you can spend probably hundreds if not thousands of dollars on what I'm about to read to you. There's another saying I often quote, you can't use what you don't have. <laughs> And this is so true for how we were able to use these items to support our body. Before reading the entire list, this is a long list. Oh, really? Long enough for you to make enough money to fund your lifestyle? Some of these items we use daily as prevention to help boost our body because healthy bodies fight stronger, which is why I believe we were able to fight this virus so effectively. Some of the items we had on hand as emergency use, such as ivermectin, which I'm glad we did, uh, guys, uh, ivermectin has not been scientifically proven to do anything for <gasps> Anytime you ever see anyone peddling ivermectin, it's a fucking lie based on pseudoscience. Any of these studies about ivermectin were either done very poorly or were retracted completely. So keep that in mind. Ivermectin does nothing for coronavirus. <laughs> At the end of this full list, I will show you what I feel is the most important to have on hand in case of infection. She has a video with a full breakdown of their story, which is an hour long. I don't have time to go through that right now. Maybe one of these days we will. I don't know. I have to watch through it and see if it's worth sharing with you guys. This section says prepare your home. Get stocked up. Our preparedness list. We do not use these items daily. This is what we had stocked in our cabinets and prepared just in case of illness with COVID. The directions for how we use them are by each item. I do want to mention that this first giant list of products that she's showing here are Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on these links and go buy them, even if they're not from Young Living, they're still going to be making money off of it. There's also a link on how to make your own hydroxychloroquine. So what the fuck? That doesn't sound safe. I don't know. Don't, don't do that. They are pushing a bunch of like what I talked about earlier, or ivermectin, um, just a bunch of bullshit that doesn't work, that is not scientifically proven to work as stated by the FLCCC, which by the way is a fringe group of fucking wackadoodle doctors. <laughs> doctors, I think, I don't think any of them are practicing, if not 
maybe some of them are, but like some of them have their licenses revo revoked, just a bunch of crazy shit. So anything that you see that's FLCCC, there's no science behind it, it's a bunch of bullshit. So they're pushing a bunch of that. What we keep on hand are wellness list. The following list is all Young Living products that we have in our home and our wellness routine. We use more of these items while sick. You do not need to have all of this. We've been stocking our home for a long time. At the end, I will give you a list of what I felt was most important and made the most different. If you do not have a Young Living account set up to order yet, it's super easy. Just like your Amazon account you'll use to order the products I linked above. No, no, Young Living, signing up for Young Living is not just like Amazon. One is an MLM. <laughs> Totally not the same. Be sure to ask the person who shared this with you if they have a referral code for Young Living for you to use. If not, I'm happy to let you use mine. Ah! I'm happy for you to sign up on my team. Oh, I see right through you, baby. So she links Ningxia Red, $50 a bottle. That's their nasty fucking drink. They give some chewables here, but then also another option for vitamin D in liquid form, which is another Amazon link. Disclaimer, I only suggest using Young Living oils for the following suggestions. These are the only essential oils that I will use in my home because of their high therapeutic value and the seed to seal commitment. See, I told you, they all just spout off the seed to seal shit and they don't even know what it means. And they don't even admit either that even if they do understand what it means, there's no proof to any of it. <laughs> Young Living doesn't provide that proof to say that anything they say is true. Anyway, I use them because they're not only safe, but they actually work. Okay, that's a health claim. This whole document is talking about literally Curing COVID, treating COVID. And she's said these oils work. Literally saying Young Living Cures COVID. That's literally what this is. And if I'm gonna spend money on something, I feel it needs to meet both of those requirements. When we're sick, we're not wanting to waste time on inferior products. You mean products that you have no proof of their quality? You just take whatever Young Living says as fact, as fucking scripture? I am grateful to have the world leader of essential oils in my home to use daily as prevention and to strengthen our bodies and to use as support when we we are not well. My God. Do not use other oil brands in the way that I'm sharing below as the side effects could be dangerous. There's a reason why we only use these. Yeah, that reason is because by you sharing all these links, you're making money. You're making money. If someone goes to Revive, if someone goes to Plant Therapy, someone goes to Eden's Garden, unless it's an Amazon affiliate link in which you really don't make that much from that. But unless it's that, then you're not making money off of it. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 oils. Oh wait, the raindrop oils? Hang on, what the fuck? There's more, I'll have to add all this up. Thieves cough drops, thieves chest rub, seedlings baby wipes. Yeah, um, Young Living has a line for kids. They call them the seedlings. Can't use regular baby wipes. No, you have to use Young Living's. Some other shit, detox baths, Immu Pro chewables, CBD drops. I didn't even know Young Living had a CBD line. Zing and Nitro, that's some more of their expensive ass drinks. Golden turmeric powder, amino wise, sulfurzyme powder, diffusing oils 24 seven, thieves, RC, whatever that is, raven, peppermint, pine. At night I use thieves and amino power in the kids' bedrooms. Oh, and make sure you make your own little wellness roller for daily immune support. Griffin's got loud toys, I'm sorry. So of course you have to have one, two, three, four, five of these oils in order to make one of these rollers for yourself. An Amazon affiliate code for the 10 milliliter roller bottles. Nourishing foods, what to eat. Water, water, water. <laughs> Oh, you don't say. If you can drink a lot of water, it will keep you hydrated. No shit. <laughs> and to help to detox from the virus faster. This is why we like to add the peppermint oil to our water bottles. To me, this sounds like someone giving medical advice at this point. I don't know who this woman is, but I'm pretty sure she's just a Young Living presenter or whatever, distributor. I don't think she has any medical experience at all from what I've gathered. So she has no place to stand on any of this. We also ate healthy zero sugar foods. This does not mean artificial sweeteners. It meant no sugar sugar period except what is naturally found in fruits and vegetables. Well, fruits are very sugary naturally. So what are you talking about? They talk about a soup they made. Our top priority list, where to start our top priority list. Phew, I realize this was a lot. Just getting a vaccine is a lot easier than all of this. I'm gonna make sure you buy all this shit. Health is our number one priority, unless it means getting a vaccine. And so each month we add to our wellness collection. We do not own a medicine cabinet. We have a wellness cabinet instead. We kicked medications and 
toxins to the curb seven years ago and never looked back. Yeah, that's really good advice to be giving people. Yeah, good job. That was sarcastic. Jesus Christ, do not stop taking your medications that have been prescribed by a doctor in exchange for fucking essential oils. Don't do that. Don't do that. The wellness lifestyle is so much better. <laughs> Probably so much more expensive too. That being said, if you're just starting out, here's my top priority list for <gasps> but in general that left us empowered to care for everyone at home. Uh, a bunch of shit. I will add all that up. How to get started with Young Living. Order all products through links I included. Uh, you know, because if you don't, then she doesn't get paid for it. If you have a Young Living account already, simply log in and place your order that way. If you don't have one set up yet and have someone helping you with Young Living products, be sure to get with them for their link. Otherwise, here is my Young Living link. Of course, if you want an easy link with all Young Living products I mentioned in one place, click here. Oh, okay. That, that'll help me add everything up. If you use my link to create an account, I'll reach out to you so you can get connected to all of our team resources. Does that mean she's going to add you to 7,000 groups on Facebook? Anyway, hope this information blesses you all. Stay well. All right, well, I'm gonna add all this shit up and I'll get back to you. <laughs> hey there, I've returned. Okay, so I wrote down everything here. This is the only thing I added up because I feel like this is gonna be the minimum that this particular document wants you to spend because this is their top priority list. Now keep in mind, I did the retail costs and not the members cost because not everyone who's gonna buy this is gonna be a member. Actually, let's be honest, probably will, but not everyone wants to sign up for your motherfucking MLM. So if you are not a member of Young Living and you're paying the retail price, not getting the discount, the top priority list alone will cost you $495.17. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Almost $500 for the top priority list. Now on this list that she made that we just got through reading, there's even more shit. Oh yeah, there's the wellness bottle with frankincense, lemon tea tree. Those are three oils that are not added up on here, but of course it's not a top priority. So it's fine. I didn't add the RC Raven Pine because this is all just stuff that she said they have on hand. These extra oils she said to apply throughout the day. You know, I didn't add any of those in there. So if you want to literally buy every single thing that this person is telling you, you need to fight <gasps> using Young Living. We're talking probably over a thousand dollars. Like if I had to guess, because there's so much stuff on here and that's not including the Amazon shit. So anyway, yeah, I just want to put that out there. This person made a list of things where they literally say you can use this to fight COVID, <gasps> which is an illegal claim, an illegal health claim to make because it is not substantiated by science. Let's go ahead and just report this. <laughs> link is going to be down below. Everything that you need to report this is going to be down below. If the link no longer works, include this video with the timestamp I linked down below so that they can see this because I get the feeling that once it's out there that people are seeing this. You know, I was going to not tell you guys this person's name, but it's on there and you can go click and see anyway. It's Amanda Cooper. She is a young living platinum. She's the one who's spreading this information and she should be punished to the fullest extent of young living's compliance. I don't fucking know. She'll get a slap on the wrist, dude. But my point is, you know, maybe young living isn't going to do anything, but give her a slap on the wrist. But the FTC sure as shit will. Truth and advertising will. Someone is going to do something. And my idea is, you know, if young living is truly operating at a loss, they're having an issue even operating right now. Throw in some FTC warning letters, throw in some kind of drama with that, it's only going to add more difficulties to them trying to bounce back. Basically what I'm saying is let's get Young Living to shut down. <laughs> Yay! Or at the very least stop being a fucking MLM. That's the first thing because once you take away the MLM, it takes away people's earning potential. A lot of those people are going to jump ship because they're not seeing the money roll in anymore. But I mean, there's still always going to be oily mamas out there, you know. If we get Young Living shut down, they're just gonna buy oils from somewhere else and they'll probably still spread the same <gasps> misinformation and shit anyway but at least we'll be one MLM down so I don't know I think it's really important call me over ambitious here but I think that we could really do something here so please take the time to report 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 everything I'm reporting on here so I hope you all learned a lot today <laughs> there's a lot more where this came from that I'll probably be updating you on soon let's bring down young living friends <laughs> and may God have mercy on their soul that being said, I think it's time to thank people. Huge thank you to my financial supporters on Patreon and my YouTube members. The list of names I'm about to read off and the people you're about to see scroll before your eyes are my financial supporters. They get access to our private Discord server. We have a postcard club in which this month I'm sending you guys Valentines. They have a little kitties on them. They're very cute. Early access to content when I'm able to provide that to you guys. If any of that and more sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash Savannah Marie or you can click the join button beneath this video.
video. Either way works just fine by me, <laughs> whatever platform you want to use. With that being said, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Janelle Pratt, Cecilia Dudet, Christy Taylor, Elizabeth Wyatt, Nitty Dragon, Kutch Squad 2.0, Leanne, Meredith Nakata, Molly Wasilewski, Ryan Mew, Sheila Tapia, Tiff C, Turd Ferguson, hashtag get the W, Weatherington Law, Alice W, Amy Huffman, April Lindblom, Boris Geller, Casey Scraper, Katrina Rosemarick, Claire T, Danae, Daniel Urena, E. Higgins, Eric Collider Craddock, Jerry Duncan, Hannibal Crossing, Heidi Haw, Hippie Kansas Girl, Julia Wheeler, Kim Cartwright, Critter, Lizzie McQueen, Maddie Darley, Marley Fletcher, Princess Deathwish, Ray, Samantha Jackson, Stephanie Hell, Tuesday the 13th, Emion, Ian Shrout, Jennifer Dyer, Jessica Cecil, Caroline H, Kazanis, Auntie Lou, Colin F, Jess Cronfeld, Krista Scantlin, Lizzie's Plantacy, and Fallon Lowry, and to the rest of my financial supporters, thank you so much for being here and being you. Even if you're not a financial supporter of mine, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I know it was kind of long. There's a lot of information here. <laughs> not too many goofs and gaffs, you know, but I appreciate you being here at the end because, you know, YouTube loves watch time. So keep making waves, babes, because we really are making them, aren't we? <laughs> you guys are doing so much. I hope you know that. Even just by watching these videos, I hope you know how much you're doing for the cause. Yeah, I'll smell y'all later. <laughs> Mommy Tsunami, out.